Now just so that you know, there is a difference between normal clearance items and secret clearance items. The best way to figure out whether or not something is on secret clearance is just by using the Walmart app. There's a price checker on it and it'll let you know what the in-store price is. Secret clearance items are something that when you scan them, they're less than a dollar. Sometimes they're, you know, priced at like three cents. One of the weird things about buying physical games nowadays is a lot of subscription services have a lot of these games for free already. That being said, $10 might be a great price to keep some of these games physically in your collection forever. I've been mean to give this game a try. Is Street Fighter 6 any good? Let's try our luck at the second Walmart in Waterbury, Connecticut. Look how big this peep is. Just look at it. One thing that I find highly unusual about these games, they're not in any sort of protective case that keeps you from stealing them. Clearance prices often give me a chance to play a game that I just didn't play when it came out. It makes no sense for me to pick them up brand new. I never get to them until a couple months later, and by that point, they're usually half off. It was $10 off, so I ended up picking up Splatoon 3. Now I'm only three games away from 300 Switch games.